Namaste and welcome, welcome everyone. This is day number 136 of 365, A Life of Bliss. 365, one quote every day from the book, A Life of Bliss, The Living Transmission, channeled through this one from our dear non-physical friends and teachers, Ananda, here to assist us, humanity, in remembering who we are and why we are here. Thank you for joining this love stream live at 333 UK time. We are on Rumble, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch and Telegram. Put in the comments where you're joining from. Let us know how this is touching you. We want to hear from you and connect with you. And today it's all about sensual experience. And I want to just say before we begin today, that <clears throat> and as it is one minute and 44 of the stream, today seems to be one of those days and the energies uh, seem to be quite intense. And it's amazing to me the, how these quotes are always so relevant to my experience. And this one was no different when I was doing the little, uh, you know, setup for today. So I just want to share that this very much applies to my life continuously. And I trust that it may, if you are called here, apply to yours as well, if you so choose. Okay. Let's get into the quote for day 136. Celebrate the life of all your interactions. Celebrate the life that beats your heart. Celebrate the life of those who have done what you call pass. Celebrate and give gratitude to every moment that blesses your experience. For when you expand into the realms where duality and polarities no longer seem to bind you, you yearn for this. You yearn for the opportunity of these deep, emotional, tangible, physical, and sensual experiences. And so today's contemplation is <clears throat> reminding us that when we expand into our non-physical, more aware beingness, we don't have the same access to sensual experience we don't have the ability to taste and touch and feel in the way that we do through this body and in certain perspectives this this is seen like a prison planet is seen like a, a, you're trapped in the body that you have to get rid of and as always ananda and this broader perspective they're always showing us that everything just is there's no good or bad there's no absolute positive or negative there's just different perspectives in this perspective, in this dimension, in these beautiful bodies, these sensual experiences offer a completely unique way of the all that is, you are, we are, to experience itself in a direct and tangible way. And so it's important to remember the gift that this life is, the gift that our sacred senses are. And of course, they can be a double-edged sword. We can feel pain. We can feel loss, we can feel lack, we can feel fear. We can feel joy, we can feel happiness, we can feel expansiveness. This is the gift that it offers. It's the opportunity to experience the all of it as an apparent separate piece. And the human journey is never a simple one. So I want to share a, like a direct experience um, this morning <clears throat> so i wake at five in the morning and i just sit i go to sit as soon as i wake up and this morning i had to write it down i need to go back and read it i'm not going to be able to do it justice in words but there is no describing what, what like there's just there was no i me left there was just nothingness i the nothingness we are i am was we can't even give it the name of bliss or ecstasy we could give it those names but that's not it any name that we give it it's not that there's just nothing 
<laughs> that doesn't sound uh, like if someone told you, oh, you're going to experience nothing. It doesn't make any sense. And in truth, it doesn't make a sense. It's not an experience. But it just is. And so I was, I was not there. There was an experiencing, an awareness, a knowing of emptiness. Not by an individual and not of an experience called empathy. Words will always fail here. Words cannot describe this. I'll use it as best. I did write something this morning. It won't get there either, but it'll probably be closer <laughs> than this. So just to share that there was just, there was no thought, there was no body, there was no word, there was just beingness. And there's no emotion or feeling in that at all. And so from this no space, this no thing, arose a thought. And a thought arose saying that I am can be anything that it wants. And the second that that thought came in, there was, I am abundance, I am joy, I am love, I am peace, I am blah, 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 all these, all these, they came in. And suddenly from this no thing, suddenly is probably not the right word either, but I'm ex expressing it how I can share it. From the no thing and no body, instantly I experienced every pretty much human emotion that you, that you can instantaneously. It was like, I am abundance, I am joy, I am freedom, I am creative, I am inspired, all of these things. It was just like instantaneous. And I really f felt my body being rebuilt. It was like my, it's not like, it was seen that this is a thought. This all is a thought. It was known that this is a thought. The I am that you think that you are. The little I am that we think that we, the little I am that I think that I am is simply a thought. The same as any other fleeting thought. It just seems to repeat and, and have longevity and have continuation because we keep unquestioningly thinking the thought I am and so this thought appears in the nothingness all of the I am's appear and it was quite literally the feeling that this body was just being rebuilt from thought and so this was just I don't know how to even say what this was it was an incredible knowingness it's not even an experience it was just a knowingness and then there was an experience I was experiencing the apparent manifestation of this body through thought and so that was incredible and so then i move into my day go through into my day so i'm in a state of like really expanded state let's say and then i go from that expanded state into another space not my quiet meditation space where everything is easy um but not generally a challenging space normally but another space where I'm going to prepare for this love stream and just as quickly as the I am appeared out of nowhere a confrontation with another human who I have no idea who they are or you know don't know this this being but a, a confrontation appeared like out of nowhere and I'm in this state of like like floaty and and I'm just witnessing this this uh, this confrontation appearing and I'm like what is going on and I've had these experiences enough as when you expand like so much again those words don't mean anything but we'll just use it relatively because it's not true but we'll just use that because it's easy to imagine the further we expand the further the further into the light let's say again just using metaphor here the more opportunity we have of experiencing darkness. Again, I'm not saying positive, negative. But so this confrontation appears and I am just like, what is going on? How is this even happening? And then the awareness comes and like you expand, this, this happens. But what I wanted to share was this, the first words. Uh, this happened while I'm literally looking at the uh, what I'm going to share about today. Checking, writing the quote, not writing the quote. Uh, copying and pasting the quote and doing the, the visual for here and the first thing so this is in the middle of this it was literally it was having this confrontation don't need to go into the details but it was so 
strange, like absolutely crazy. But the first word, then I, when I'm, I'm looking at my screen, it's like celebrate the life of all your interactions. And like, I was like, okay, I get it. And then celebrate the life that beats your heart. Because in this confrontation, my heart was beating because I'm like, what is God? This is craziness. What is going on? What's happening? It's like so just unexpected and so out of uh, tune. It's not out of vibration. Otherwise, I couldn't experience it. Um, but it, it just seems so far away from how I was feeling, how I've been experiencing life. And then this quote just comes, celebrate the life of all your interactions, celebrate the life that beats your heart. And I tell you, my heart was beating and not in a fun way, in a anxious way, in a kind of, what's the, kind of a defensive, combative sort of way, like a fear and defensive sort of thing. So I just wanted to share that because I come on here and just share whatever is happening in the moment, but it's been so long since anything like this kind of happened. It happens. Last year there was one way higher level than this one that happened with people that I actually did know. But I always want to share that, you know, when I'm, I'm sharing these quotes, I'm share my life is not always, <laughs> it's never always like that. Um, but it has been for this last such a long time. It has been so closely aligned to what has been shared. So now, today, I had to get this experience to really, I don't know, come back to Earth. Really feel like, where is this? Where does this exist within me? Because we can't have any experience unless it exists within ourselves. Um, but it was just such a contrast from this, like, this ex non-experience in the morning to this crazy, weird conflict for no reason. That I can see other than this energy has to if, if something exists within us that needs to come to the surface it has to be brought out generally from someone or some circumstance so spirit will find a way so I would like to bless that angel who I'll probably never meet again uh, and they don't, probably don't know the role that they played as an angel to bring that experience to my being but it's just to share uh, how life is appearing and how when I share this probably I can see that it may come across that I'm just floating on a cloud non-stop mm -hmm. and that is definitely not the case and I just want to document that when it does come I'll never hide it uh, so that's where we are today for that so I'm not going to go much more into the code I'd rather just share it because I always want to keep these relatively short and now we're not so short so this is the contemplation for day number 136 and as always you're invited to drop into our sacred silence as we allow what is to be what is as what is
And so as we go into that sacred silence, as I've just come out, I see the it's funny I talk about it like I like of course write these things copy and paste these things but sometimes they just go straight past me and I'm just realizing as I've come out of that silence sensual experience this is what it was for me it was a huge sensual experience the second one the confrontation as well as the the first positive one uh so it's amazing and yeah I just share this to share share my journey share the challenges share that everything is not always just easy and just because this book has come through me uh that i'm absolutely living this life continuously absolutely i'm not and i continuously drop off and continuously forget i mean literally second by second i forget this stuff but that's okay that's exactly apparently the way it's meant to be and um just to share that with with you because it can be challenging times on earth. It can be challenging times for all of us in this transformation as we become aware of who we are and why we are here. There are times when there'll be parts of ourselves that we have forgotten and we maybe think we've moved past, but they come back to remind us. And I know for me, this has shown that there's still definitely a lot of work to do with um, physical um, confrontation and the, the feelings of fear and anxiety and, and defense and attack that, that comes up with that. And that's definitely some fun work <laughs> coming for this one. And let's see how it goes. It's never ending and it's beautiful and it's perfect. So I just give thanks that I have the opportunity to have this life and the opportunity to have a wide and vast life experience. I've been in the gutter, I've been in the bottom of the bottom, I've been in the darkest of the dark, and I hasn't been in the most expensive, the eye has disappeared. I have been no more. And in between, the experience of life moves, the living transmission, the living words, life of bliss. So... We will continue this journey every day, as we have been, on Rumble, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Telegram, live streaming, love streaming at 3.33. All the quotes are coming from the book, A Life of Bliss, The Living Transmission. And we love for you to share this material if this these transmissions have given value to your life, if you are finding parts of yourself in them. Please share this. Please like, comment and subscribe on the platform that you're watching on. And for anyone that have eyes to see and ears to hear, please share it with them. And we will continue every day as we roll on day 136. We'll be back tomorrow for more of the same. Who knows where it will take us. All we know is that love is the answer. Love is what we are here to bring and to be and to see, especially in the places where it seems hidden, especially in those who have forgotten it. Love those who spite you. Love those who seem to attack you. The love that you are conquers all, but not in war. Conquers all, it envelops all. Love has enough space for all of everything. For it is the source of all of everything, even that which does not look or sound or act like love. Mm. Until next time, from my heart to yours, the divine in me sees, loves and honours the divine in you. Namaste. We are.